Hello, this is Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. I'm Fran Duvall, the host for today, and I'm, I'm happy to now say her name correctly, <laughs> Melissa Robeson. Uh, thank you so much for coming on today and bringing us up to date. And I don't know, I think maybe since the last time we spoke, I know you've been on since, but uh, you've got a bigger umbrella that you're kind of covering, aren't you? Slightly. Um, some of the things are the same, but other things are different. So going into 2020, my role is the Associate Executive Director for Health Services. And so in that role, I am supporting Garden Ridge, continuing mm -hmm. care. I'm supporting the um, medical group and the medical center and just supporting um, them mm -hmm. and our new leader there and supporting resident life and specifically in resident life, having the ability to support the certified home health and home support and those teams. So I'm mm -hmm. really excited about this year and my opportunity to support them. And I forgot to sneak one other uh, department in there, rehab and rehab services. So mm -hmm. our PTOT and all of those areas. So uh -huh. everything that comes under what I would say the health services umbrella, mm -hmm. um, those are the teams that I'm gonna be working with going into 2020. Oh, that, that, sounds, uh, that sounds like a big enough umbrella. You'd have to have a golf umbrella to, you know, capture all those. But that's, that's uh, are some of those areas brand new for you or have you been involved in them since you came? So I think many of them I've been involved in in one way or another since mm -hmm. I came, specifically Garden Ridge and the things that fall under Garden Ridge. Mm -hmm. At the end of last year, as Brad Andrews transitioned out right. um, and went to his new community, um, I took on resident life um, at that point in time okay. and started working with them. So. I don't think it's too brand new, um, if okay. you will. I've been All partnering right. with them for a while. Okay. There's enough brand new going on with your move over here to the second neighborhood and Absolutely. So, forth. so you have uh, you you have a lot of walking to do if you're do you have an office at Garden Ridge as well? So my office, my primary office is here in Village Square, but I yeah. have been taking up some temporary housing over in Garden Ridge in the NHA office or wherever I can just find a spot to land to make sure I'm supporting the team and they we have access to one okay. another so that they don't have to leave and kind of leave the community, if you will, or leave Garden Ridge. So I'm making myself accessible to them over there. Good, good. That's good, yeah. Because they'd have to leave, leave their post probably. Correct. And do that. And it's not easy to get from Garden Ridge over to here. No, <laughs> not, not exactly, not, but especially right, right now. now. <laughs> I mean right now with all the construction, it, it's a different kind of walk. Correct, okay. correct. So... Obviously, you want to update on a, a, us on some things that yes. are going on under that umbrella. Certainly. So specifically around Garden Ridge, um, I wanted to share uh, some really wonderful news with the team as we start 2020. One is that we have a new director of nursing um, that's been here on an interim basis at the latter part of 2019. So mm -hmm. some of you might have met her. Her name is Aisha Mathis, mm -hmm. and Aisha is joining the team permanently this month from mm -hmm. uh, uh, Riderwood. So she was an associate director of nursing there, and she is now permanently our director of nursing. And it's, it's been fabulous working with her for the past um, couple of months, and I'm just delighted that she's chosen to join our team. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, in the middle of February, we will have another new leader joining us in Garden Ridge, and that is Mohammed Jala. Um, Mohammed is going to be our associate director or assistant director of nursing for our skilled nursing um, units, okay. and he's also joining us from Riderwood. So we have been able to um, uh, gain support internally from the organization and not mm -hmm. necessarily have to recruit from the outside, mm -hmm. which really adds value to the team for right. someone who already understands um, Erickson and um, CC specifically. Sure. So those are two um, new leaders that are joining us permanently that are going to help solidify the team. We are continuing to interview for our NHA, which is our nursing home administrator position. Okay. Um, we should hopefully be making some decisions towards the latter part of January so that we can have an announcement by the time I'm here with you again or uh, even before that. Sure. Um, our repositioning continues to move forward, so we're continuing to make progress with our repositioning, uh, specifically um, with the clubhouse repositioning and the administrative offices, the salon, our meeting space, and the new reception area. That should be open probably about the middle of April. And you're talking about at, at uh, Town Center? At Garden Ridge. Oh, oh, over at Garden at, oh we're Ridge. still at Garden yes, Ridge. I'm still okay. at Garden Ridge. Okay. Um, so at Garden Ridge, we're doing, of course, you know, major repositioning there. 
dogwood commons opened, but now we've come back into Garden Ridge itself and we're doing some work on the resident rooms mm -hmm. on various floors, but also when you walk in, you'll see that the clubhouse um, has a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So that clubhouse space will have the new salon, it'll have new administrative offices, it'll have a new um, conference room as well as a new reception area um, there for residents, their families, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then our new elevator um, is what's going in as well. When you look at the outside of the building, it's not so pretty right now. Right. Um, and that's because we had to take off some of the facade to put that right. elevator chamber in. Um, and that should all be opening, we hope, uh, mid-April. Mm -hmm. Well, just in time for spring. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, um, uh, when you were talking uh, before and I interrupted saying you're talking about town center, mm -hmm. the repositioning there. Mm -hmm. Now, when is that lobby going to be finished? The complete lobby at Village Square? No, at town center. I Town Center, okay, so Town Center, we've got lots of repositioning going on. So Town Center, um, as you know, is a multi-phase um, initiative with lots of things going on. What you see right now when you walk in to the uh, lobby area, you see some new pillars going up. That's because we're gonna have a new walkway or entrance space there, a new vestibule, so that when you walk in, you're not, you know, the wind and everything right. is not um, coming right in the door. Yeah. So that um, is what's going on right now. So I would say, that space is likely going to be done, I'm gonna to say towards the summertime. I see. Okay. Um, a lot of the work has, is being done to uh, create CVS, which is where the old administrative suite is. Right. So that space is being done right now. Mm -hmm. And we still have to move um, the finance area, the finance department over here to Village Square. Okay. They're going to eventually be adjacent to us. And okay. then they'll be going in there to create the sales office. Um, so I'm going to say there, it's a multi-phased approach with different things mm -hmm. happening at different times. Um, a bulk of the work should be done by the summertime in that space. Mm -hmm. um, and summertime could in, be anywhere from that June to <laughs> August. I'm not going to back myself into a corner there, but yeah. um, we, we continue to make progress there in that okay. space. So, okay, you must have had other things on your list. I do. I have... Um, one other thing that I'd like to comment on, and that is a new series that we're doing uh, at Garden Ridge for our residents and family members in independent living and anyone who actually is currently considering um, memory care and memory care services. We are doing a program called Four Reasons. And Four Reasons is really just an opportunity for us to focus on our memory care and memory care services that mm -hmm. we offer here on campus, mm -hmm. um, not just at Garden Ridge itself, but as a series, there's one this evening and then there's one tomorrow afternoon in the Hunters, Cro um, Hunters Crossing Conference Center mm -hmm. um, in which we're going to be talking about the various options that we have to support memory care and mm -hmm. um, memory care services here on campus. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, um, our next guest is going to be uh, dealing with intermission. They do some of that, don't Correct. they? Correct, yes, they do. Now, does intermission come under your umbrella? Intermissions is actually um, with programming, and it also is underneath resident life. And mm -hmm. so with that, I do support them as well. Okay. So we do work collaboratively together. Yeah, uh, well, that's good to know. Now, this program, and it says four reasons, can you tell us what the four is? It's, so, it's spelled F-O-U-R, by the way, folks. <laughs> F-O-U-R, correct. Yeah, correct. So the four, um, and I would say the four reasons, if you will, or four discussion points that they're going to focus on tonight, mm -hmm. um, and then tomorrow is how memory care includes utilizing a person's strengths to improve quality of life. Number two, the value of optimal expert support for those living with changing cognitive abilities. Three, how a customized care plan enhances and improves your loved one's quality of life. And four, why reducing caregiver stress is always beneficial for receiving care. So yeah, it's those good. four reasons and those discussion points, if mm -hmm. you will, that they're going to be focusing on. And Kara Skripchik, which is our Director of Memory Care Services for Erickson Living overall, 
she is the one that's going to be here tonight to and tomorrow mm -hmm. to discuss mm -hmm. these. When you're saying tonight, what time is that tonight? So tonight is from 6 to 7 p.m. Did people have to um, register or anything ahead of time? Our preference was to register, but I'm sure we are, we are more than happy to accommodate because it's in the Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. So that's a very, very large space. Yes. Um, I, I don't know how many RSVPs we received. I know that we've sent out um, literature and we've had things posted for a while now. But okay. the, there's the one this evening from 6 to 7 p.m. And then there's one tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., mm -hmm. which is January 26th, Wednesday. And it's also at Hunter's Crossing Conference Wait, Center. Wait, you said tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. And then there's yeah, one today. Yeah, but it's not tomorrow the 22nd. Today is the 21st, yeah. Tuesday. When's the next one? Wednesday, January 22nd. Oh, 20, tomorrow. You, you did say 22nd. Yes, ma'am. I thought you said 26th. Oh, no, ma'am, the I 22nd. Thought, OK, all right. Um, and it's good for evening, because then families can come correct. as well. Correct, correct. Yeah, well, for such an important uh, need, I think families would take off in the morning anyway, or the, that midday. Uh, one and I hope you have a, a good turnout. Yes, I, I'm looking forward to it. I hope so. Yeah, will you be there yourself? Or I am planning on being there this mm -hmm. evening and then being there tomorrow as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I do wish them well. Thank you. Now, what's written on your little purple sheet here? Is that so? Those were all the things I wanted to make sure oh, that okay. I covered. Yeah. Okay. Our new our new team members that are joining us, the repositioning, and then to make sure I was talking about mm -hmm. four reasons mm -hmm. in our series. And in, in to bounce back to the repositioning, mm -hmm. um, are, are there going to be new carpets in the hallways anywhere? Do you know that answer? I mean, if you don't. Uh... So the, the plan is with all the repositioning, both at Garden Ridge as well as Town Center, that there'll be new carpet being put in um, in the lobby area specifically, and then the hallways the, that Well, I was thinking well. specifically of this hall, of neighborhood two hallways, resident hallways. So there is a an entirely different project that we're working on that will actually be replacing okay. the hallway um, uh, carpeting in okay. all of the residential hallways over time. Okay, all right. Well, listen, thank you for coming today and, and filling us in on a lot of newness, but um, that's the way life is. It's always an adventure. So thank you very much for be letting me be here today. Okay. I look forward to speaking with you in the future. That's right. <laughs>